saying that Zachariah Sitchin is a member of what? The Illuminati? Absolutely. Zachariah Sitchin met with Corrado Balducci. Who is Corrado Balducci? Corrado Balducci is not only the official spokesman for the UFO in the Vatican. He's okay. a demonologist. Okay. The biggest exorcist in the Vatican. Right. I mean, it was Crowley who said, you call them the gods, then we call them angels. In 50 years, we will call them something else. evil and we happen to be the evil ones but we're not that bad he says I look at this business between the force of good and evil he says you believe in, in uh, one person believe in God never one believe in Lucifer it's like politics He says, look, we worship spirits. We worship Lucifer and all his angels. They're just as beautiful as they did before they were cast out of heaven. And to these people, they are sold to the fact that uh, Christ will not return to this planet with power and great glory. What is Islam's view of the end of history? It is the same. It is the same as the Christian view. It is the same as the Jewish view. That there is eternal conflict between truth and falsehood. That final triumph of truth over falsehood would culminate with events which are unfolding in the Holy Land. They are saying the same thing as we are saying. That the events which are unfolding in the Holy Land would themselves culminate with the true Messiah coming 
to rule the world from Jerusalem. We're not the only ones who are saying this. And when Jesus comes back, he's going to come back to rule the world from Jerusalem. The Christian believes that. The Muslim believes that. That false Messiah, in order to impersonate the true Messiah, must rule the world from Jerusalem, from a state of Israel. From our perspective, when we see events unfolding in the Holy Land, in the way they are unfolding, number one, the liberation of the Holy Land for the Jews. Number two, the return of the Jews to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. Number three, the restoration of a state of Israel in the Holy Land which has a PhD in oppression and a PhD in decadence. This cannot be the Holy Israel of David and Solomon. Allah's blessing be upon you. No. This is the work of the Antichrist and the Jal, the false Messiah. upon him will defend from the heavens with his hands resting on the wings of two angels at that time when he comes down it would be as he came the first time the first time that he came he came in front of his cousin John the Baptist and the divine wisdom ordained that John would say, here he is. This is the man you've been waiting for. This is the Messiah. And so a method of positive identification. And so history repeats itself when he comes back. When he comes back, he'll come back before another similarly divinely appointed individual who would be a worldly leader while the son of Mary will be a spiritual leader 